so that certainly was an episode, I will say. Um, lots of revelations. Still, we don't know some revelations, and quick opinion on it, it was fine. That's it. It wasn't great, it wasn't bad, it was fine, which is very much damning with faint praise, because that's, that's just what it was. It was fine. Uh, we found out who Ruby's mother was, and it was nobody special in particular, which, honestly, I kind of like, after all of the stuff with Clara and stuff, I... You know, her just being a regular person, that's fine. Ruby's mother being a regular person, that is absolutely fine. Now, I still don't know why Sutek was so interested in her. In fact, in fact I thought it was going to be more because they brand the plot point that Sutek let the Doctor and Ruby live so she could find, so they could find out who her mother is. So why did Sutek want to know? And why is it f snow when Ruby thinks about that day? There's still some unanswered questions. We still don't know who Mrs. Flood is. I have no idea who she is. She could be anybody, like I said again. But I'm really at a loss for words. This finale was... It was fine. The season has been pretty good so far. and It, it was fine. You know, I don't think it really spelled out. I think it got a little... I think it got a little dragged out in the middle there. Like, the middle section going to the end. Especially the stuff with the spoon. Uh, yeah, it just got a little draggy. And, you know, like... I do like Sutek's look. His voice is the same voice as it's always been for Sutek. Which, you know what? Good for them. I'm glad they got a... He's like in his 80s or his 90s or something. Crazy. I do like that. But, uh, yeah. It was... It, it was fine in this episode. Still... The doctor just straight up kills Sutek, which, honestly, it's strange to say for the Doctor Who fan, it's probably about time he should have done that. Because as much as the doctor doesn't like directly murdering people, he was the god of death and he would have came back and he would have caused even more problems. The doctor didn't feel great about what he did, but it was probably for the best that he threw Sutek into the time. Time Vortex. We also got the... We also got the explanation that... Sutek has been inside the TARDIS... The whole time since Pyramids of Mars. Which... Brings up a lot of questions. Like, um... Man, it took Sutek a long time to come up with this plan. His plan, which is... Is pretty smart. I'll give him that. Basically, plan extensions of himself on every single planet of the Doctor's... The Doctor has visited, which he's visited a lot. Fair enough. I like that. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. And then... The Memory TARDIS... If, see, I'm in the United States. We don't get Tales of the TARDIS. And I'm going to be honest. I think people who have seen Tales... Who doesn't know what Tales of the TARDIS is... Are going to be kind of confused about the Memory TARDIS just appearing. Even though I'm a little confused, I got the cliff notes on the Memory TARDIS episodes, Tales of the TARDIS episodes, so. I mean, yeah, and I, I liked Mel in this episode. She did really good. In fact, this is the best I've ever seen her in Doctor Who. She didn't do much for the 14 Doctors era, but I'm glad she got to do something in the 15 Doctors era. That was good. I like it. Solid, solid work. I like the way that she looked at the 6 Doctors' ugly, ugly suit and found comfort in it, which I like. I don't like the Sixth Doctor, but, you know, it's nice that they're acknowledging their past there. Um, but, yeah, okay, let's go with the revelations. Sutek can't kill them because he wants to know who Ruby's mother is. Okay, fine. Ruby's mother is just a regular person, which I like for the emotional beat of the story. In fact, I actually prefer that over her being somebody special, but that doesn't explain why the heck Sutek is so interested in her. It doesn't really make any sense. Why well, he would be interested in a normal person. That he knows who it is. So it was just a coincidence, I guess. Which, Dr. Who was full of coincidences. You know what? Fine. But we still know why it snows. Which I find very confusing. Oh, and also Mrs. Flood. We still don't know who the heck that is. I would really like to know. 
she kind of broke the fourth wall at the end of the episode then, and I don't know if this is foreshadowing for the Christmas episode. Kind of implied that the Doctor would die sometime in the future, which, you know, whatever. Some people say she's um, some kind of omnipotent godlike being like the members of the Pantheon. She might be the storyteller, which, I mean, that's interesting. She's wearing, um, she wears companion's clothing throughout the throughout her appearances, which, you know, that's kind of neat. I don't know if that means anything, or that's just Russell, you know, jerking us, jerking everyone over again, which is very possible. Russell likes to jerk everybody over with this stuff, and, um, the ending was sadly very predictable. The doctor undoes everything, and everything goes back to normal, which is expected, but I wouldn't expect that from Russell T. Davis, because of all the, um, because of all the people that make content for this, for this series in the modern era, he's the one who most often sticks to the uh, consequences. This is a very Moffat move of making everything go back to normal. Because Moffat has a very big thing about letting people live. Or it was actually Russell's thing where a lot of people died during his era. But yeah, I, I wonder how it was with Jack. You think Sutek was on the outside of the TARDIS when Jack was clinging on to it during the finale of season three? You think Sutek looked at him and was like, you think they made eye contact? And Jack was like, I don't want to know what the heck is going on because Jack is the man who can't die and uh, Sutek is the god of death. So I assume they wouldn't have gotten along very well. And, um, yeah, it is what it is. It was fine. I wish it was better. But you know what? Fine is better than absolute, absolute crap like a lot of the 13th Doctor Air ones. And you know what? It's fine. I'm going to do a big wrap up probably this coming week. But yeah, you know. <sighs> Have a good day. It is what it is.